On 23rd November 2019, during normal operation, for simultaneous production and drilling preparation, a 10-inch vent pipe ruptured due to throttling of a manual valve on the vent tailpipe downstream of the blowdown valve leading to overpressure of the effective 10-inch stainless steel pipe rated at 150 PSI. Fortunately, there were zero fatalities and injuries. Asset damage was an estimated RM 3.95 million. How did this happen? This incident happened during unplanned gas injection pipeline depressurization from Sumanda to Samarang. At this time, there was ongoing punchless clearance work in progress, that is, contractors wrapping up small construction jobs for phase two of the enhanced oil recovery project. This had involved installation of new water injection and gas injection facilities at Sumanda. There had been a number of deferments of timeline target milestones on these projects, which is not unusual for offshore projects due to volatility of natural factors. The cumulative delays came to about 18 months and resulted in some irregular staffing situations, as many key personnel had to move on to commitments elsewhere, creating knowledge and expertise gaps. It also created some grey areas in ownership between Petra contractors and site operations personnel. Based at the Samarang platform were the senior site operation representative and junior site operation representative. Their responsibilities include supervising and advising contractors on project execution at Samarang. This post reports to the Samarang Offshore Installation Manager. Working from the Petra Contractor Barge and responsible for managing contractors across several sites was the Petronas Company Site Representative. This role reports to a head of facility based onshore and liaises with the Samandap Offshore Installation Manager, Production Supervisor and Maintenance Supervisor for decision making. The Company Site Representative post is meant to be held by an experienced E3 level personnel. However, at the time of the incident, due to manpower constraints, this post was being held by a junior company site representative. This staff had once been replaced by a senior company site representative in June 2018 by request from operations team for someone with more experience. However, in June 2019, the senior transferred internationally, so the junior was brought back to cover some remaining Phase 2 work scope, which was only punch list clearance. At the same time, this junior was simultaneously handling Phase 3 of the project. All Phase 2 personnel had been demobilised and only Phase 3 personnel were available on site. At the Samanda platform was the seeding operations engineer. This personnel came on board to replace the site planner who was going on leave. The agreed work scope was to be strictly limited to manpower planning. However, at this time, the seeding operations engineer was covering additional work scopes under guidance of the production supervisor as part of unofficial coaching. This included chairing contractor meetings and liaising with the company site representative. The incident events, November 15th to 23rd. On November 15th, the Petra MV Galaxy was mobilised to Samanda Bravo, carrying a Petra work crew of 11 personnel, designated for punchless clearance work. For offshore operations, there is a limitation on personnel headcount for safe evacuation requirements, based on available lifeboat capacity. So, for the Petra work crew to perform punchless clearance work at the Samanda platform, it would be necessary to first construct an evacuation gangway at sea deck to ensure platform evacuation requirements were met. On November 16th, the company site representative requested permission for gangway construction from the offshore installation manager, as this would require removal of some structural posts as well as hot work. 
Offshore Installation Manager requested a structural integrity analysis report. This would require about one week. While awaiting outcome of the structural integrity study, the Petra work crew submitted a request to carry out hot work on the cellar deck checkered plate instead. In preparation, a pressurized habitat was constructed to encase the checkered plate work zone. However, this hot work execution was also delayed. First, on November 18th, due to gas turbine compressor commissioning happening in the same location. Then, on November 21st, due to bad weather. And again, on November 22nd, as the fire water pump was out of service due to planned maintenance. In the meantime, on the 19th, a seeding operations engineer had come on board at Sumanda as part of scheduled crew change. On November 23rd, the cellar deck checkered plate hot work was about to be executed. At 0714 hours, after daily morning meeting, under supervision of the production supervisor, the seeding operations engineer WhatsApp the company site representative to inquire on readiness of the 11-person Petra work crew for sea deck gangway installation activity. The company site representative had received the structural integrity analysis report and confirmed gangway should be completed by November 25th. At 0800 hours, the company site representative boarded Sumanda Bravo to discuss the sea deck gangway installation with the offshore installation manager there. Around 1100 hours, Sumanda leadership team were alerted that there was gas present in the gas injection piping running through the habitat of the cellar deck checkered plate hot work location. The leadership team disallowed hot work as the gas injection piping would need to be hydrocarbon free prior to hot work. The offshore installation manager and production supervisor with seeding operations engineer present, then evaluated two options to enable the hot work. First option was to depressurize the gas injection facility via Sumanda Bravo topside. But if this first option could not work, then they would try to depressurize via Samarang Bravo gas injection trunk line. Initiating option one, Sumanda production supervisor contacted Samarang leadership team to verify whether a depressurization of the gas injection facilities at Samanda Bravo topside would impact Samarang Bravo. Samarang site operation representative overheard this communication and confirmed no impact to Samarang Bravo. The Sumanda production supervisor initiated the option one attempt to depressurize the gas injection facility via the Sumanda Bravo topside. This was not successful. The seeding operations engineer WhatsApped the company site representative to inform that hot work was to be disallowed as there was gas present at the gas injection piping passing from a trunk line isolation valve at Sumanda Bravo. However, this communication from the seeding's operation engineer mistakenly referred to the disallowed hot work location as the sea deck gangway rather than the cellar deck checkered plate. At 1500 hours, the company site representative intending to enable hot work at sea deck gangway to progress informed the seeding operations engineer that the company site representative would attempt to open a valve at Samarang to flow the trunk line pressure back to well at Samarang drilling platform Bravo. The company site representative opened the well at Samarang drilling platform Bravo. However, the attempt was not successful because pressure at the well equalized with the trunk line pressure. The company site representative then suggested alternatively opening the blowdown line at Samarang Bravo. The seeding operations engineer agreed. So at 1630 hours, the company site representative radioed Petra contractors at Samarang Bravo to communicate with Samarang site operation representatives on opening the blowdown line there. Petra attempted to manually line up the valves to vent through the blowdown line at Samarang Bravo. At this point, Samarang Junior Site Operation Representative intervened. Petra supervisor was unable to satisfactorily explain why they were attempting to carry out an unplanned manual bypass. Subsequently, Petra approached the Senior Site Operation Representative 
to open the valves and the manual bypass was agreed to. At 16.45 hours, Petra radioed the company site representative that Samarang Senior Site Operation representative agreed to open the blowdown line at Samarang Bravo. At 1700 hours, Samarang Senior Site Operation representative began panel bypass for valves at Samarang Bravo. Petra then forced open the valves. Observing slight vibration and temperature rise on the blowdown line, Senior Site Operation representative instructed Petra to throttle the blowdown line manual valve to 30% aperture, hoping to reduce the temperature. The site operation representative and Petra didn't realize closing the valve would create back pressure, higher than the maximum design rating of the pipe. 1730 hours. A sudden loud noise shook the Samarang Bravo cellar deck. Rupture had occurred along the blowdown line with an observable gas cloud. Senior Site Operation Representative activated emergency shutdown and mustering. 1733 hours. All 34 personnel on board mustered at Samarang Drilling Platform Bravo Wireline Deck. By 1830 hours, all personnel on board evacuated to MV Petra Galaxy.